Hey guys, what's going on? And uh, what, what we're talking about in this video is with our Node project, um, what is the best way to be able to open up a large file and read it line by line? And uh, in this example, I have this, um, this large uh, geography file, which is basically a ton of lines here. It's like three and a half meg, and I, I want to be able to parse this thing uh, line by line on my Node.js server. And there's multiple ways of doing it, and most of them are outdated. Um, so the reason why I decided to make this video is just so that we have one uh, updated version of, of how we should be going about this, at least you know probably for the next year or so until a better module is made. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. Now you're going to need the um, FS module, which is re which is part of uh, Node.js, and that allows you to actually read files and open files. It stands for file system. So um, you just want to make sure you have a require in there somewhere. And um, what I what I have going on here is I have a method that's going this this entire section of code is going to be executed uh, when I search, but um, I'll show you guys in just a moment. But what we need to do is um, go ahead and and use our fs to create a read stream, and the read stream is actually going to be the file that it is that, that we want to open. So let's go ahead and um, create a variable, and I'm just going to call it input. And we'll say it equals uh, fs, and fs is that file system module that I was talking about that we just uh, required. And then we're going to call create read stream. And then here is just where you're going to give a um, path to the actual file that you're trying to open. So mine is uh, located in All right, there it is. Duplicate. Oh, yeah, I already have that defined anyway. I'll get rid of that. All right, so now we have our um, our read stream defined. We're gonna go ahead and create a variable called RL, which stands for read line. And here we're gonna go ahead and require another module, which is the best way to actually read line by line from a uh, memory stream and Node.js, um, and that's the read line module. So we'll require read line, and then we're going to say uh, create interface. Okay. All right, so RL require read line dot create uh, interface. Now we need to go ahead and say input, and we're going to give it the uh, input variable that we just created up here, which is just a reference to a file stream. And we also need to do an, an additional argument, which is um, terminal false, if you're using the latest version of Node as of the time of this writing or this uh, video. This terminal equals um, terminal false is going to be a big thing because uh, it won't work without it. So just to kind of recap, this is the code that we just added right here. All right, now we can go ahead and um, execute some code for every line um, that. RL comes across on this big ass file that we're we're trying to read. So we'll say uh, RL dot on, and then we'll just call it line. We'll pa uh, parse this thing line by line. All right, um, so let me go ahead and I'm gonna fire up my server. So the app is started here, and it's um, it's this personal project here, and the code should be fired when I click uh, Find Work. So you can see that it's actually reading through that big ass file line by line and printing it out to the console. And I don't need that to finish, but anyway, guys, um, that's gonna sum up how you actually read a file line by line and um, assuming you wanted to do something with you know each line or if you're looking for a certain thing or something like that you would do it obviously inside of this this area here instead of just uh, printing it to the command console but for the entire video it's just this highlighted section is what we what we had to write all right guys thanks for watching please subscribe bye